Unify Controller Management Protocol, Device Adoption, and Inform URL. Ubiquity enables administrators to centrally manage the devices and users on their enterprise networks via a software-defined networking control plane known more simply as the Unify Controller. The Unify platform was purposefully built using an architecture that scales massively to support maximal number of managed devices irrespective of their location on the global network. The Unify controller, therefore, uses a robust, proprietary protocol to remotely access, configure, and monitor network devices, despite sitting behind NAT firewalls or any derivation thereof. However, it is Unify's simple web GUI that makes device management straightforward, while behind the scenes, managed Unify network devices heartbeat into the controller to periodically inform the controller of their reachable network IP addresses. In this way, the controller can instantly reach the Unify device whenever the admin chooses to push configuration updates. However, before device provisioning, that is, configuration, can occur, a Unify device must fall under controller management, becoming bound to that controller through a process called device adoption. Unify adoption is a handshake between device and controller and can be outlined in a few simple steps. While in its factory default state, and typically with a DHCP assigned address, a Unify device informs the controller of its network IP and reachability through beacon announcements. When located on the same local network, the inform beacon announces via layer 2 broadcast, resulting in immediate discovery at the local controller. In order to discover and adopt devices over layer 3 network boundaries, a Unify device must be configured with updated inform URL settings. Inside the GUI of the controller, the admin then chooses to adopt the pending device. Using the network information described in the inform beacon, the controller now connects over SSH to the Unify device in order to complete the process of adoption and manage the device. Immediately thereafter, the Unify device is bound to the controller and will provision with any configuration settings specified at the controller. In order to discover and adopt devices over Layer 3 network boundaries, a Unify device must be configured with updated inform URL settings. The inform URL represents the network address of the Unify controller wherever it is on the global network and can therefore point to any reachable network address belonging to the controller, including IP address, host name, or even a fully qualified domain name. Supported methods of updating the inform URL for Layer 3 adoption include the Unify Discovery Tool, SSH, DNS, and DHCP Option 43. After updating the inform URL, the factory default Unify device will appear in the controller with its known IP address pending adoption, ready to be managed. If the device does not appear, ensure end-to-end -end IP connectivity exists between controller and device, as well as open management ports at the server. To successfully perform Layer 3 adoption, it may be necessary to update the inform URL again after the first adoption appears to fail. Once adopted, a Unify device populates under Unplaced Devices in the controller, ready for naming and placement on any map under the adopted site. After provisioning, the adopted Unify devices take on the site username and password, both of which are required in case either SSH access or re-adoption to a new controller is desired. Once adopted, the Unify devices begin reporting traffic statistics to the controller, as a final note, all communication between Unify Controller and managed devices is encrypted and untagged.